Welcome back to my channel guys! In today's episode we're going to be talking about the 12 foods and drinks that could be causing your hair to fall out. Please do watch all the way through, you don't know what you might be eating that could be causing hair loss and hair thinning and hair breakage. It's a lot. Also please do feel free to forward our video to anyone who you think might find it useful. Okay then, let's get started! Okay, so foods in general can be divided into alkaline and acidic. The overall rule to follow is to have as many alkaline foods as possible and minimize acidic foods in your diet. Before we get into it, this video is not promoting the alkaline diet, which is really dangerous. The alkaline diet asks you to cut out all acidic foods from your diet. British National Health Service say that it's not safe to cut out entire chunks of food groups from your daily diet. However, they do promote the idea of eating more fruit and vegetables and cutting back on sugar and alcohol. Alkaline foods include fruit, vegetables, tofu, soybeans, and some nuts, seeds, and legumes. Acidic foods include dairy, eggs, meat, processed foods, sugary foods, and packaged and convenient snacks and foods. Okay, so let's dive in with sugar. Sugar causes damage to your hair in two main ways. Sugar causes inflammation. When you consume a lot of sugar, it floods the blood, causing insulin and androgens to spike. This binds to hair follicles, causing them to move into the shedding phase. This type of hair loss can happen if you're eating lots of sugary foods on a daily basis. Number two, interfering with protein absorption. Our hair is actually made up of a rough protein called keratin. And the protein we eat is really useful for hair growth as it helps to maintain and repair cells. Sugar hinders the absorption of protein. So it's a really good idea to cut back on sugar and increase our intake of protein by eating more oats, yogurt, beef, chicken and turkey. Linked into sugar are white starchy foods, white bread, cakes and pastries, as well as white pasta and other refined and over-processed starches are converted into sugar, which also stops protein from being absorbed properly. So it's a good idea to swap white pastas and breads for their wholemeal alternatives. Number 10, fizzy drinks. Carbonated drinks are acid forming and they have high amounts of sugar. It could be as high as 12 teaspoons of sugar. Sugar affects your cortisol levels, which inhibits your ability to handle stress. And one of the major contributors to hair loss is stress. Number nine, sugar-free foods. The FDA has said that aspartame, the artificial sweetener commonly used in sugar-free or diet foods, as well as sugar-free fizzy drinks, can speed up hair loss and hair thinning. Number eight, alcohol. Alcohol stops minerals such as iron, copper, and zinc from being properly absorbed, and these deficiencies can lead to thinning and unhealthy hair. Alcohol dehydrates you, which can make your scalp dry and cause hair to become brittle, and start thinning. So before I forget to mention, if you've got hair loss issues that you're currently facing, then it might be a good idea to supplement your diet with It Really Works Vitamins. So this is a brand that I set up about five years ago. Most of our customers, it's a British brand, as you can tell I'm British, but most of our customers are actually based in the US, Canada, Singapore, India, Pakistan, and Australia. Our supplements are packed with 22 essential nutrients that encourage healthy, normal hair growth. We've been in Forbes magazine as the best nutrition innovation 2019 and 18, and we've also been in shortlist just recently as in the top 10. We what was what's the list? We're in the top 10 of the best hair regrowth yeah, yeah. products for men. So if you try our product and you don't love your results, then we give you a full refund with no questions asked. All the info is on the website, so please do feel free to check us out. We've also got an exclusive discount code in the video. <laughs> I should also mention quickly, we offer free worldwide shipping. Okay, back to the list. As well as having lots of bad fats that cause heart disease, high fat diets can increase your rate of hair loss. This study from last year found that mice 
when consuming a western style diet experienced inflammation and hair loss. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carb and moderate protein diet. Hair loss is considered a less common side effect of this diet, but some dietitians have found a link between iron and protein deficiencies and this diet. If you're enjoying this video so far, please do feel free to give it a big thumbs up and also we would love it, we would welcome you with open arms if you would like to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future videos. Number five, swordfish. High levels of mercury can be linked to hair loss and swordfish has a higher level of mercury than most other fish. The general rule is, the bigger the fish, the more mercury it's likely to have. So it's a good idea to steer clear of eating lots of mackerel, tuna and swordfish. Number four, food additives. Researchers have found a link between food additives and hair loss. And it doesn't matter if the additives are natural or chemical additives like sulfites or ammonia. Interesting fact! Did you know that cochineal extract or carmine dye is a food additive extracted from dried bugs and is commonly used in fruit drinks, sweets, yogurts and other foods. It's thought to bring about hair loss as well as a number of allergic reactions. Interesting fact! Guys, do not forget we have put together an amazing ebook that's all about how to keep your hair thick, healthy and strong. Please do click the link below to download the free ebook. It gives you everything you need to know about stopping hair loss, increasing hair growth, has lots of recipes on scrubs, homemade DIY hair masks and scalp exfoliants. So click the link below to get your free ebook. Okay, let's go back to the list. The final three foods that we're going to discuss could take you by surprise because they're all really healthy. Number three, dairy. Dairy can block the pores and lead to a buildup of plaque on the scalp. This leads to the hair follicles shrinking and thinning hair. And if you've got an allergy or an intolerance to dairy, then hair loss could be a consequence of this. But there isn't actually much scientific evidence confirming this. Number two, too much selenium. Selenium is an essential trace mineral that's important for cognitive function, heart, joints, healthy immune system, System, fertility in both men and women. Taking too much selenium over time could lead to selenosis, which can cause hair loss. In 2008, a liquid dietary supplement that was 200 times more concentrated than advertised led to selenium poisoning in more than 200 people in 10 states. We're almost at the end of our list. The final thing to watch out for that could be causing hair loss is too much vitamin A. There are two types of vitamin A, carotenoids, which are found in plants, like carrots or spinach, and preformed vitamin A, which is found in animal products like liver and fish. Vitamin A in normal doses is really good for hair health as it supports cell reproduction in the hair follicles. If you've got your own hair fault issues, please do feel free to send us messages on Instagram, it really works, vitamins.com. Lots of people like to send pictures of their hair because they've got really super specific questions. So please do reach out to us on Instagram or feel free to send us a comment on here or a DM on YouTube. This channel is completely devoted to hair care and fighting hair loss and we can't wait to hear from you if you've got top tips and suggestions so please do subscribe tell us what else you would like to see tell us what you don't like so we get rid of it and we can't wait to see you next time please do subscribe and keep me posted as well about your hair growth journey I love hearing from all of our customers see you soon before I finish off the video I just wanted to give a bit more information about the alkaline diet as I skipped over it in the introduction here we go Okay, so let's have a really quick look at the pH scale. This is the pH scale. Water has a pH of seven, and blood has an ideal pH of between 7.35 and 7.45, which is neutral. A pH of 14 is alkaline, and a pH of zero is acidic. So there is speculation that having too much acid in your body can cause lots of health problems, including hair loss, heart disease, and certain types of cancers, but none of this has ever been scientifically proven. British Cancer Research also say that it's a complete myth that cancer can be cured by an alkaline diet. So it's dangerous to follow the alkaline diet, but it is a good idea to cut back on sugary and processed and fatty foods and to increase our intake of fruit and vegetables.
Researchers have found a um a fruit fruit. We're gonna be oh, okay. Taking too much selenium over time could lead to selen taking too much selenium over time could lead to selenosis. Sel <coughs> And packaged cons uh. do, 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 do. Taking too much selenium over time could lead to selenosis. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, back to the list. Okay, back to the list. Okay, back to the list. Dairy can block the pores and lead to a buildup of plaque as well as scrubs and homemade DIY. Thank you, everyone. The final three foods that we're gonna discuss. I think my camera's wobbling. Oh, spooky. Which inhibits, which inhibits your ability. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red to handle stress. Like me today. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm not stressed. I'm not gonna uh, suggest, okay. So before we dive, and other refined, over-processed starches. Starches. And it is a good idea to increase our intake on of fruit. So it's a good idea to swap protein, oh sorry, but it's a good idea to cut back on our, oh. the general rule is, the bigger the fish, the higher the, uh, the alkaline fruit. So the all uh. alkaline foods includes lots of food, Fruit, fruit fighting hair for an intake and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <sighs> okay let's stop okay let's stop the scary music because I've just it's freaking me out I've had enough welcome back to my channel guys in today's episode we're gonna be talking about the 12 foods and drinks that could be causing your hair to fall out 